Now that we've gotten comfortable with converting between scientific notation and standard notation, we're ready to do operations with scientific notation, and we're going to use our calculators to help us with those calculations. For our calculator, when we want to do the times 10 to some power, what we're going to use is the second button on our calculator. And then we're going to hit the EE, which is the button on it that says x to the negative 1 power. So on my calculator here on the right, we're hitting the second button. And then this x to the negative 1 EE will give us that times 10 to the power of. So for example, If I want to put in 1.38 times 10 to the negative fourth, on the calculator, I'll type in 1.38. Then I'll hit the second button and the EE button. And I don't know why, but there's only one E that shows up on the screen, even though you push the button for EE. But then you type in negative 4. And the calculator will interpret that as 1.38 times 10 to the negative 4. So for example, if I wanted to do 3.4 times 10 to the fifth times 2.7 times 10 to the negative second, you can put that in your calculator exactly like it looks. That includes the parentheses. So we'll do parentheses 3.4 second EE. We'll type in an E. 5. And the calculator will interpret that as the scientific notation times 2.7 second EE negative 2. And when you hit equals, it's going to tell you the answer is 9,180, which we know how to put in scientific notation by moving the decimal point three times to get 9.18 times 10 to the third power. Let's do another example. Let's try 2.352 times 10 to the negative sixth. And we'll divide by 8.4 times 10 to the negative 2. Put this in the calculator. Very similar. We can do parentheses. We always like to put parentheses around the numerator and denominator when there's multiple stuff happening in there. 2.352 second EE negative 6. And then we're going to hit the divide button to go 8.4 second EE negative 2. And when I do, it's going to tell me the answer is 0 0.000028, which we can convert to scientific notation by moving the decimal point five times. So that's going to be 2.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, because it was a small number close to 0. Let's do one more, maybe an extra challenge problem. Let's try 4.2 times 10 to the fourth times 8.1 times 10 to the negative sixth divided by 1.4 times 10 to the fifth. Now again, as a reminder, if there's multiple stuff happening in the numerator or denominator in your calculator, you're going to have to put an extra set of parentheses around that numerator or denominator. So we can type this in as parentheses for the numerator, parentheses for the first number, 4.2 second EE4. Close the parentheses for that number. Then 8.1 second EE negative 6. Close the parentheses on the numerator. Divide, open the parentheses on the denominator, 1.4 second EE5. Close the parentheses on the denominator. When I put that in my calculator, it's going to tell me that the answer is 0 and some of your calculators might even, by default, put that in scientific notation for you. You'll see 2.43, and then you'll see the E with the number at the end. So if I move the decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times, so it's 2.43 
times 10 to the negative 6 because it's a really small number. And we've got our final solution. Practice using scientific notation on your calculator. Get really comfortable with it. And good luck on the assignment.